afternoon. Good evening, everybody. <clears throat> yes, this is live with Rick Dancer. Special presentation. Yes, cute kids, super cute kids, karate kids. <laughs> They're karate kids. These, these are right? truly the karate kids. And we are at the Eugene School of Karate uh, with Albert Roy. Check this out, you guys. Okay, so here they are. And uh, Albert is a gentleman in town who's been teaching karate for how long? 25 years here in town. This is our 25th anniversary. So you guys, these are four-year-olds. And those are their proud parents over there watching them. Four-year-olds can sit still. Look at that. They can sit still. Everybody wave to the camera. Because <laughs> you are live, just so you know. Yeah, yeah. And if you're in the witness protection program, you're in trouble. <laughs> they don't even know what that is. So you guys, this is Albert. Go ahead and do what you're doing. So Hi, this guys. is Albert Roy. And uh, so karate, why? Why for kids this age? Uh, it, so three, we, we break kids down groups into three and four-year-olds and then five and six-year-olds. These kids, primarily, we're going to give them fun. Uh, that's what they're looking for. What the parents are looking for is completely different. Um, they want the kids to learn uh, some discipline, some self-control. And so we teach those things, some ki those character skills, through the martial arts. They learn some blocking and kicking and punching. We have a lot of fun with that. Um, but at the same time, we're instilling those basic life skills so that they can become successful. So when you say basic life skills, what do you mean? Uh, things like uh, self-discipline. Controlling your bodies, knowing how to sit still, uh, how to listen, follow directions. Uh, these are all things they're going to need in school. And so at four years old, some would think that's just so young. Uh, but it's not. This is the perfect time to get them started. When did you start doing this? I started when I was 10 years old, so a little bit older than these kids. Um, but like uh, Grace and Caitlin, black belts that are the kids today in the video, um, they started when they were there. Uh, and, and now they're le the teenagers and they're leading classes. So as a kid this young, <clears throat> what they're going to learn some basic things that we're just, we don't teach much anymore. These were things that in our society, they used to be normal, <laughs> the, 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 the way our society developed. Uh, we're so busy today, we don't have time uh, to instill these values in the kids anymore. So what are the values these kids are going to get out of this, besides fun and directions, following directions? Yeah, so uh, they're going to be able to, uh, and, 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 as you see them here, they're following the teacher, they can listen. Uh, they can uh, work through some obstacle courses and things like that. Um, and then, as the kids get older, uh, we teach them more and more skills, and, uh, and the obstacle courses and the directions that we give them get more and more complex. And, um, and it's totally normal for them to do that. Why do you think this is so valuable? Uh, well, what, like the reason I got into this is that when I was a kid, I was the kid in school okay. that got bullied. And so, um, because of that, um, I, I had, you know, not the best childhood growing up uh, in school and stuff like that. Um, it gave me confidence. So karate gave you confidence? Just absolutely. Confidence, self-esteem, uh, so that I could go out in life and accomplish what I wanted to accomplish. Look at them. And they pay, they're really paying attention. I mean, that's four years old. Right. This is normal. <laughs> They're so cute. Okay. And what we do is, and you might have seen it earlier, they have a little right, tiger on the back of their uniform. We use that tiger as a metaphor um, to explain things to them. So we want them to hold still like a tiger. We want them to yell like a tiger. Uh, we want them to be strong like a tiger. Um, and kids get that. You guys, we are at the Eugene School of Karate, and these are four-year-olds. Um, and you guys are just signing people up now, right? Yeah, so um, we have uh, classes here uh, at the Karate School, but we also have classes through Amazon Community Center and Shelving Community Center. And those are just registering at the end of this month. So if, they're, if people are looking for an activity for their kids, we go three and four year olds, five and six year olds, and then seven to 11 year olds. Uh, this is the perfect time to sign up at the beginning of the fall. School's just getting started, get them signed up in a new activity. And how long have many of these kids, are these, these are beginners then? These guys, um, some of them have been training okay. three months. Uh, some of them have been training six to nine months. 
So yeah, they're, 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 just, they're just getting started in this. Unlike Grace, who's been doing this for like nine years. So is it self-control? Is it um, it's uh, confidence? It's all those things that uh, we want our kids to be. Um, and karate teachers, absolutely, we want we want to develop in them an I can attitude. Um, so they, you know, whether it's the, the blocks or the punches or the obstacle force or the patterns or learning to spar with another person, not being afraid of them, being courageous like a tiger. Um, uh, these are all things that we instill in the kids. So, oh, and screaming. <laughs> That's our key eye, right? Number 10, on the number 10, they all yell like a tiger. I don't think we heard that. Can you guys do that a little louder? Everybody key eye again for me. A little bit of passion. Um, David Schmidt on here says his kid loves Taekwondo. Um, absolutely. Uh, all martial arts are wonderful for kids. Uh, if you can find an instructor that connects with the kids, um, that's fabulous. So is there, is there a parent we can pick over here to talk to? Um, yeah, just start right over here. I think all of them are open to talking to you. How are you? Oh, I'm doing good. So you're alive, just so you know. Okay. So which one of those uh, kids out there is yours? Uh, the kind of tall one right there without the tiger on his back. Okay, so now how, how long is, what, what's his name? Uh, his name is Tora. And how long has he been doing this? Uh, you know, I think it's been about two and a half years now. So how old is he? He's five and a half. So what has this done? What have you, how have you seen it change him? Well, you know, one of the things it does is it teaches them how to follow multiple complicated instructions, and that's been really good. And so I, I think it gets his mind working uh, a couple steps ahead. Uh, I think it also gives him a lot of confidence. So really, in terms of school, so he's in what grade? Is he in kindergarten or going to first he, grade? He's just starting kindergarten this year. So how do you see him going to school? Like he's, he, he understands what he's doing. He's, he's confident about that. Oh, yeah, he's excited about it. And so he loves coming here and interacting with the other kids. So how does, um, in terms of um, Albert, he, he really connects with little kids, with all kids, but he connects with kids really well, doesn't yeah. he? Yeah. Oh yeah. No, he's he's got a real gift for it. Look at that. Okay, guys. So hold on. Now they're doing. Okay, so what are they doing? Okay, so what we're, we're simulating here that they, they're tackling the bad guy. The bad guy rolls over the top of them, and then they get back up, and they're going to punch the bad guy. So um, really what I'm doing is I'm getting them to um, be uh, gregarious. <laughs> Most of the kids today, if they fall, they get hurt, right? These kids, they fall, and nothing happens. Why is that? Because they have the confidence to know what they're doing. That's right. We, they know that it's safe here when they do it. They, they trust the teachers, and uh, so they learn to get work through the problems. Now, how do people? Um, God, it was, how come I didn't get to do this? When I, was I know it's absolutely you know, fun, right? Yeah. Well, yeah, and you make it so this isn't about violence. No, no, not at all. So, so why does a person learn to swim so that they don't drown? Why do you learn martial arts so that you don't fight? You learn, really? to, yeah, absolutely. It's not because I want to go out and fight people. It's because I want to have enough confidence in myself that I can talk my way out of the fight. I can talk my way out of the bull. And that's what martial arts is all about. Absolutely. So people may, who, who, who think that it's violent, it really is not. It's really not. It's and it really, really is self, it's a self-control, self-discipline kind of thing, isn't it? Yes. Yes. Again, here's a, here's a whole group of four-year-olds standing in a line waiting their turn. And they get to. I would, yeah. When does I, that happen? I don't see that in Starbucks sometimes. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So do you think that's what really is attractive to parents about this? It's just, they're really getting a. It's the life skills. It's all about the life skills. So why do you do it? Uh, I just. This is my life's passion. I started when I was a little kid. I've been. I went to graduate school. Got my degree in education. Could have went into public school teaching, and I decided to teach kids instead. And I've been doing it ever since. Wow, look at that. It's a great life. <laughs> because you, look at these smiles. I, don't yeah. know, I, have, I get to play for a living. It's like well, me and Tiger Woods. <laughs> yeah. 
and their parents get to um, go home. I bet these kids are like a, a, a much more controllable, you know what I mean, or manageable. Correct. Correct. Yeah, so, so the goal is that they take it from here back into life. Martial arts are so good for kids, Janet Bridge <laughs> says, you bet it is. Absolutely. Just come this way, just so you can talk to her. Yeah. Okay, so here, guy. All right. Tuck your chin. So he's tucking his chin for safety. Tackles the bad guy. Jump on top. Defends himself. One, two, three. One, two, three. Again, at this Good age, I'm not, I'm not waiting for punches. To, I mean, we're not breaking boards here. Right. I'm not expecting them to Tuck your chin. be a perfect technique. Why is the fun tough. aspect so important? He's weak. Uh, because, so, he's so the goal weak. for the parent he's and the goal for the child are two different and tomorrow things. Tomorrow I'm going At this age, kids want to have fun. They want to play. So they see this tomorrow as a play. No different than running around in recess. Good for you. And, and it's the first grade. You want to tackle this? So, tackle so uh, no different than uh, you know soccer. Kids like to run around and kick a ball. It's fun. So what do the older kids do? So with the older kids programs, um, yeah, we'll bring those. On the, in fact, let me go get them. You can watch here for a second. Okay, okay, guys. So he's gonna go get some of the older kids while we watch just the cute ones. All right. Not that the older kids aren't cute, but look at that guy. Oh yeah. Jump on top. Get up. Get up. Good job. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right, Cotto, back to line. Saya, you're next. There she is. All right, you ready? Tuck your chin. Jump on top. One, two, three. Oh yeah, that was your best one. So, for a second. Yeah. So Albert said you were one of these little kids not that long ago. Mm, yeah. What? So what has this taught you as a as now a, a young woman? Well, it's taught me a lot of like focus and body control and how to defend myself, which is really important. Especially in this day and age. Yeah. Right? So you think at this age they don't even really understand that part of it. This is just fun. No, they don't. They have fun with you, but someday this could come in really handy. Yeah. There's definitely a lot of benefit for this class. So in terms of confidence for you, what? how have you seen that change you? Well, I feel like I'm more ready to take on leadership roles. Like, you saw me teaching the class. I wasn't, like, five years ago not prepared to do that. How old are you? Fourteen. Fourteen? So at schoolhouses, are you more focused at what you do? Yeah, it's definitely taught a lot of focus, controlled breathing, a lot of uh, just self-control. And I bet you're, I wouldn't mess with you. <laughs> you should say you better not. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so here's the older class. Okay, guys, so this, so this is our older class now. So now we've, we've hit uh, age like seven and up. So um, again, you're going to see some discipline and self-control, um, but you're going to see also a jump in skill level now. So instead of just standing still and doing basics, now we're starting to move. So these guys have a, a little test coming up this next week and they're going to be uh, demonstrating their skills at their test, and that's how they earn the different belt colors and racks. Okay. So like Mac, the first boy in line, he just started uh, eight classes ago. Huh, this is his ninth class. Some of the older kids, the white belts with stripes, they've been going about six months. Yellow belts, you're looking at uh, maybe about a year. Okay, let's go this way. Come here. Come here, Albert. Okay, guys. Yeah. And recover. Walk, step, punch. You remember this, Mac? Um, that Yes, but just step forward. Okay, one. And recover. Two. Recover. Three. 
so who are you? I am Owen. Hey. You're live on Facebook, just so you know, okay? Okay. You okay with that? Yeah. Okay, so how long have you been doing no. this? <laughs> about a year. So what have you learned? About Karate. Okay, yeah, that's a good answer. Yeah. <laughs> but what else? Yeah. What do you mean, self-control? What do you, how does it help you? Do you know? No. You don't? Do you like doing it? Yeah. Is it fun? Mm -hmm. So do you feel more secure? Like you, you could actually defend yourself? Yeah. And, and do you always feel like that or is that something new? No, I could always do that. Really? Yeah. So what, do, how, how good are you, what's, what's this little belt here mean? What's that mean for you? I have successfully done karate for, I don't know. Let me see. Do you think you're a better student because you come here? Huh? Are you a better student because you come here, do you think? Does it make you concentrate better? No. Not no? Really. And how old are you? I am 10. You're 10. Well, you better get back in line over there. Okay. You're going to be in trouble. Okay? <laughs> That's what I love about kids. They tell you the truth. Has this Absolutely. made you a better student? I don't know. No? No? <laughs> so, so, so again, so you look at how a child looks at things. For him, it's fun. Right, that, that's right. the key. They're just thing. looking at. I'm, I'm here to have a good time. This is not about me learning to be a good person or anything like that. Correct. But in having fun, they're learning to be good people. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. So Absolutely. hold on, guys. I'm going to turn you around here again. But again, if you ask the parents, they'll get a different answer. Right. Right. They can, the parents won't necessarily be thinking, "Oh, it's, I bring them here for fun." It's I bring them here because of these life skills. So what are they doing now? Okay, so it looks like they're going to do some kicks now. Um, so um, white belts will be doing like a front kick. Yellow belts are doing a round kick. It's just the direction of the kick is a little bit more complex for the yellow belts. So a lot of people think in, like in Taekwondo that they, they do a lot of kicking. And so karate people don't kick, we punch. But karate has all the same kicks that they do in other uh, activities. I bet this is really good for like your flexibility as a kid. If you get that flexible, you're already flexible. You start doing this. Man, you'd be, you're gonna maintain the flexibility through life a lot easier. Uh, flexibility is actually the, out of the components of fitness, the fastest component that we lose in life, um, which is why we all get old and stiff. Uh, so yeah, this helps you maintain that through life better. So you guys, this is the Junior School of Karate, and uh, they have classes here at the school. They also have them at, um, Amazon, Amazon Community Center and Sheldon Community Center. And they're taking signing up right now goes through September. Uh, so you can get signed up. And these are 7 through 11 year 7 old. through 11 roughly. And we, are and we teach people of all ages, but this just happens to be the demo group we've got in for you. Today. So we had also some four year olds on here earlier who are sitting over there with our kids. Probably watching what the big kids are doing going, I need to work out to do that. And that's why we put them back to back. Is that those, these older kids are now modeling for those younger kids what they're going to be doing in another year when they come into this class. And they'll think it's totally normal. That is amazing. So I'm going to pull you it's a great group. I have a fabulous group of uh, kids here. So again, this is the Gene School of Karate. Uh, Kids learning to not just really defend themselves while they are, but they're learning real confidence, um, how to take direction, how to take orders, how to listen, how to do life. And, and one of the things that makes us different than a lot of martial arts schools is at the end of classes, we will sit down and do um, little math class. Uh, and we talk about um, little sayings, for example. Um, you know, my instructor always used to say, um, every day and every day I'm getting better and better and better. Uh, and so we talk about um, kind of uh, how to develop a positive attitude, how to set goals in your life. For example, I grew up in Boy Scouts. I started in Boy Scouts, and we, we are in merit badges, right? These kids are learning, earning stripes on their belt. It's no different, right? right? It, it's a goal-setting technique that works with kids. Why is that so important in 2017, do you think? I mean, your to personal set goals. opinion. For kids this age to set goals, not like school says, what are you going to be when you grow up? I'm talking bigger goals about what kind of person you're going to be. Yeah, so the uh, goal set, if you, if you don't have a goal in mind, then you, you'll never know if you've reached it or not, right? So, so you have to have something out there that you're reaching for. And that's true with kids too. 
Otherwise, um, the, the other option is we can have them sit in front of the Xbox 12 hours a day, uh, and, and nothing will ever happen, right? right. So, we, so if you want your kid, if you want to raise your kid a certain way, you have to be intent, uh, intentional on how to do that. So, so if you want to raise a kid who knows how to listen and follow directions and has self-control and does great in school and all of these things, then you choose choose activities that will encourage that. So, so can you talk to me? Are you a parent? You go ahead, right ahead. So you guys, again, we're at the Eugene School of Beauty, uh, uh, Eugene School of Karate. And these are kids, um, these are seven to 11 year olds. And the reason we're here is the school is now signing up children for different classes uh, through Amazon Park and um, also here at the Karate School. And uh, as you can see, they just think they're having fun, <laughs> but they're actually learning life skills and things that are going on there. So how many students are here, do you have in, in all of these so, uh, Here at Grace Community Fellowship, where we hold the class, um, we've got probably a dozen kids in this program. And then uh, at Amazon, uh, I run probably 30 kids to 45 kids there. But we're doubling the size of that program this year. So uh, we're moving that uh, for up to 60 to 90 kids just in that class. And then at Sheldon, uh, we run about 30 to 45 there. So what, so what do you want parents to know? Um, and how do they get a hold of you? Uh, so I want them to know that there's a, there's a, a fabulous option um, for their kids. Uh, as we uh, are just starting the new school year, this is a great time for them to start uh, to sign their kids up for new activities. And one of the greatest uh, hidden activities that people don't really think about are martial arts classes. And um, this is where you're, you're going to get the most bang for your buck. Because not only are they going to have fun and do an activity that they think is really cool, but uh, the bang for your buck comes that we're going to teach, uh, uh, reinforce things like self uh, control, self discipline, um, and life skills that are just uh, invaluable for these kids to grow up in our society. <clears throat> and you're also, as I'm standing here, I'm thinking of a Facebook post I had recently about following rules mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and, and laws and order and the way things are set up. And that really is what martial arts are about, too, isn't it? Well, and, and not only that, but one step further, uh, as our, you know, we see a lot of degradation going on in our society right now. People aren't following rules and stuff like that. And uh, our society, in many ways, is becoming more dangerous. So why not, again, most bang for your buck, uh, why not teach and have the kids learn a little self-defense, too? Because they just might need it later in life. Right, and like when I was talking to your teacher over there, um, the 14-year-old, uh -huh, Grace. She said, you know, she's, she goes, I have so much more confidence that I would have never thought I could do this. Right. And, and in terms of... Uh, nope, you don't have to. You guys, students are coming up to Albert and asking him questions. So again, um, I'm going to go back here. So this is Albert Roy, and uh, he teaches karate at the Eugene School of Karate, and uh, and he is looking for more students. And uh, this is you got room for plenty. Oh, we got tons of room for kids. So this is the thing that you do at this a great time in the fall too. Oh God, this kid's coming. Here. Hold on, you guys got to see this. concentration is bingo so the, kid, the kids are learning focus right so um so what what happens is we teach these patterns it's they're kind of like choreographed fight scenes and they get more and more complex as the kids move on so their focus increases and what we see is that we see a match of that right, in school. Kids that are able to concentrate and focus better in school. Because you're training them and teaching them. So, so right. maybe right. maybe concentration and, and motivation and stuff isn't something we just get. No, no. These are all these are all learned behaviors. And yes. you're teaching them to them at this age. Absolutely. And I was the same way. When I started when I started karate at age ten, I was like a you know D student in school. And I ran into the, my started karate. Ran into my, my instructor, uh, who was really serious and pushed me hard. And without him doing that, 
I wouldn't have went on to college, I wouldn't have went on to graduate school, I wouldn't have went on and done postgraduate work. But every time I kept showing up, he'd say, he told me one day, he says, all of my black belts, you know, get college degrees. So I went and I got my two-year degree. And then I came back and I said, look, I got my degree. And he says, no, 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 I meant four-year degree. And I came back and he said, look, I got my four-year degree. He says, no, 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 I meant graduate school. He just kept pushing, right? And this is what karate teaches us to do, to never give up, to keep pushing, to become our best. And that is a skill that is quite lost in our culture today, isn't it? But yeah, why don't we pursue excellence anymore, right? And these kids are going to learn, and there's their parents. Um, so you guys, this is, um, again, the phone number, Albert, for people to call, 541-543-4166, or you can reach me uh, by email at sen, S-E-I, Albert, A-L-B-E-R-T, at gmail.com. And can they sign up through Amazon and those kinds of Or you can contact Amazon or Sheldon. And through the community center and yes. sign up for the programs as well. All right, cool. Any last uh, words you want to tell us, or do we just want to look at this? If you have any questions whatsoever, uh, just give me a call. Uh, one other uh, quick thought I did, just thought about, we also do birthday parties for kids. It's a great way to see if, if they're interested in martial arts. Uh, we, we do an hour and a half birthday party for them. Oh, seriously? Yeah, and, and we do a lot of these skills and stuff. So, so do they have to measure. bring their own robe, or do you provide them? No, no, no. It's robe-free. Robe-free? Um, yeah. Um, but we do so we do provide a samurai sword for them to cut the cake with. <laughs> so it's pretty awesome. So um, it really is a chance for them to just kind of experience it. Test the waters about. and yeah, see what it's like. So let us, if you're interested, if your child might be interested in the martial arts, um, then give us a call, send us an email. We'd be uh, happy to uh, set you up. All right, Albert, thanks for having us in. You bet. So again, you guys, you, uh, I'm going to give you a parting shot over here. Sasha, let's step back with the other foot. There you go. Try it again. Okay, and recover. Look at your hand. Second try. Grab and go. So we're working just on a simple wrist grab here. What happens if someone grabs the wrist? How do you get this? One turn. One more I was just talking in a <coughs> networking group that I'm in, and uh, one of the ladies is involved in self-defense, and she said that. Right now, um, Eugene's property crime rate is really high, super high. Yeah. And um, think of the people that the, the, the defense these kids are learning for that kind of future is where we live. Again, you hope that this never happens, right? This is why we learn swimming. You don't want to drown. But and the same thing is true with martial arts. We hope it never happens, but if you need it, you want it to be there. You want to have that skill. And you've got a lot of young ladies in these classes. We've actually, over the last 25 years, I've produced more female black belts than male black belts. What does that say about this, this guys? Well, it's, 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 it's really fascinating because when you watch it, when, when girls train, they don't treat this any differently than, say, dance or soccer. When guys train, they want to be G.I. Joes. And so they carry baggage into it. So they try to do things hard instead of doing it right. Huh. It's very fascinating. So the that girls actually do really, really well. With it. That reminds me of my wife and me. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right, Albert. Hey, thanks again for having us in. You bet. All right, you get a hold of it.